Where did the beard go? Hey guys, me host here so thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, the beard has gone. I don't like the way I look right now. I'm no I'm not gonna lie, I don't like not having a beard. No! I slipped with the, I slipped I slipped with the razor. I tried to make it sh a bit shorter and yeah. We ended up like this. So moving on. <laughs> We've got some droids to look at. Yeah, buddy. We've just had a delivery from Disneyland Paris with a bunch of new builder droids. You guys know on TikTok. I've become known as the droid guy over there, and I've been making droid videos more or less daily, building up different droids. I've posted a few here on YouTube as well, and on, t and on Instagram. But I'm really enjoying collect collecting all different parts for builder droids. So I've got another like five here to, uh, to look at, and to pull apart, and add to my collection. So I'm going to jump straight down to the desk camp, and show you guys what, 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 show you guys what we got. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a bunch of new droids here that I'll be showing you and pulling apart. This is my big box of build droid parts. If you haven't seen this before, this is basically a about 10 year collection of collecting builder droids. Ever since I started going to Disneyland Paris and then Disney World in Florida, every time I go I build several droids. Uh, with all the different new components that I'm missing and then when I come home I can basically mix and match those droids to how I want basically. And there's a bunch of droids that were available back um, about a few, God, God, how many years ago? About six, seven years ago, maybe a bit, a bit more, a bit less. Um, there's been a bunch of droids that got released to the, to like the Power of the Force line and a couple of other lines that were basically droid factory droids <coughs> that came with pieces that were uh, compatible with this stuff. So I've got a right, a right collection of weird things from over the years and different droid parts and odd pieces and things. And uh, I've been enjoying collect you know, collecting them for some time. But yeah, I say it, we've got a bunch of new droids here from Disneyland Paris. I'm going to open them one by one. We're going to see what droid we've got. And basically I'm going to salvage him for the droid factor. So we have the, oh, a black and gold droid. I don't, I don't think I actually have a black and gold droid, so I'm happy about that. Some nice black and gold pieces there. That's cool. Let me uh, let me open him up. And obviously, they they all get a little accessory piece, which are like Disney accessories or something random. So in this particular case, it was a little Mickey hat. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop I'm gonna pop that straight in the uh, in the box. I don't really use those pieces. Uh, I needed this uh, gold head, and then the black and gold body. I just needed in general. Uh, you can never, you can never have too many black droid parts because they just they don't come around very often. You always get plenty of R two D two inspired droids, but you never really see many droids that are like uh, coloured black. So I always grab those whenever they're available. So here's the black and gold droid. Very cool looking. I'm glad to have that now. That's a very cool droid. Let me just pop in that. Okay. One down. Second one. Okay, so we've got a silver droid this time. Again, again, you don't get many grey droids either. They're mainly all like white units with like coloured patterns. So to get a solid grey droid, Pretty unique. Again, it's got an accessory piece. This time, they gave us a Yoda hat, a little, a little green Yoda hat. And let me pop this droid together. Yeah, so this guy's silver and black, which is kind of cool. Again, you don't see many silver and black droids. Whoop! Yeah, that's nice. I like that. It's a nice silver and black droid. Very cool. We're cooking on gas. Some good, some good droids here so far. Box three. 
Okay. Now already I can see a piece that I already own, which is okay. I'll, just, I'll have, I'll have a, a couple of these parts. Hopefully I might find someone in the Astromech group that hasn't got this particular part and would be willing to trade. But other than that, the rest of the body is purple. Which is very cool. Which I need purple because I believe, I believe Mace Windu's droid was purple. And the accessory part this time was a little blue hat that says Star Wars. Yeah, they've given us this little blue, this blue head, which doesn't really go with this, with the body. But that isn't a, pro, a problem anyway, because obviously we, we do mix and match. But there's no purple head, otherwise it would have been a solid purple droid, and that would have been cool. They don't have a purple droid. We've got a purple and white. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. Hopefully, I can find someone in one of the astromech groups that need that needs that white head, that blue and white head, or wants the blue and white head. Only can swaps is. I need a purple head. But then again, I'm not sure what colour Mace Windu's droid head was. I don't think it was solid purple, was it? I know it had a purple body. Let me quickly Google. Mace Windu's droid. R8B7. Alright, okay, so R R8B7. Sorry, R4. It's got different names on it. R4M R4M6. R4M6 has a purple body just like this. With the pur with, with, with purple uh, with the purple leg, middle leg, and the purple legs. But he's got a white, he's got like a silver head with like purple pieces on it. Hmm. So I need to I need to get a new head. I need to see if I can find the head anyway. Because that droid to buy, they did make one. <laughs> as a part of the uh, Saga line, by the looks of it. Yeah, Mace Windu's Astromech. So they did make one. Hopefully I can find the head for that one then. Yeah, and sadly I've got the same blue head here. I've got that same blue head twice now. Uh, so again, it's that same blue head. It kind of looks like 501st colours. Although to be fair, with this blue with this blue body, it does look cool. And we've got some R2 legs. So yeah, the droid does go. It does look cool. Uh, again, it's the pieces I need more than anything. It's the, it, I wanted the body more than on this one because it was the blue and white. And the accessory piece that came with this one is a little sombrero. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. And then finally, we've got one droid left. So this is a yellow and white astromech. I don't have this colour, so I'm happy to have this one. <laughs> the accessory piece this time around is a, oh, it's a Mickey Mouse um, head. Sorry, Mi sorry, Mickey Mouse ears, but it's got the uh, Jedi symbol on that. Well, I'm not sure if the camera will focus on it, but that's pretty cool. And then this droid is yellow and white. So somebody was asking me the other day on TikTok if I could do a droid that had the colour scheme of Commander Bly. Which this guy is probably going to be it. Yeah, that's a good-looking little droid. Yeah, I do like that colour scheme. That is nice. So I did get these from a personal shopper um, who does go to Disneyland Paris and buys things. Um, I've used, this is the first time I've used her services, and I'm very happy. I've got, my, I've got, I've got, I've got myself a bunch of new droids. It's a shame about the two with the same heads. I don't, I don't remember specifying two droids with those. <laughs> I think there may have been um, obviously miscommunication, which is fine. Um, that lot, uh, th these droids are 12, 12 euros each. So I mean, yeah, it's like 50, 60 quid for the set, but 
that's how much these stupid droids cost. And uh, if you buy them, if you to buy them in some of the groups, people will charge you more than that. I've, I've known these droids to sell for about 20 quid a piece, so. I'd rather get them from Disneyland and Disneyland Paris through, per through personal shoppers when I can. Uh, but yes, I do have a couple of these white and blue heads for sale. So if anyone does collect these droids and needs that blue and white head, then please let us know as I have two of those for trade for uh, any other droid part, basically. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and a little insight as to what new droids I've got added to my droid, fa droid factory line. I'm going to sit here and uh, open, uh, like pull them apart and put, you put them in the box, ready for uh, deassemblement or reassemblement, however you want to look at it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, may the force be with you.